All right, hello again. This is Kevin, or Nivek, as I prefer to call myself. Uh, tonight, we are going to be looking at shading again. I promised that I would show you some other techniques to shading. Uh, these are nothing brand new. You can find tutorials out there on them, but, you know, I'm going to just do a quick thing. I'm going to show you one of the techniques now, which is to use masking. Uh, first of all, let me just recap what I did last time. Let me just render this. So, this is an avatar of myself, which I did tonight. As you can see, there's no shading at the moment. Now, if you look over here at this folder, I have a folder called Kevin, and in it we have different vector layers for the hair, eyes, uh, nose, beard, mouth, head, etc. Now, what I showed you last week was the built-in shading effect in Anime Studio. If you go double-click on the folder or the, the, the layer, go to Shadows, turn Shading on, Apply. When I render, you will see that there is a shadow on the left side of my face. This is a very soft shadow because the blur is pretty high. Of course, if I want something a little bit more two-toned or cartoony, I can turn the blur down to zero. And there you have a two-tone kind of, you know, cartoon or cell shading type of shading. So, that's what I showed you last time. So, now I'm going to show you masking. Now, first of all, I already have this folder masked. Let me just show you by double clicking on it, going to masking and you can see hide all. Normally it would be set to no masking in this group, but to mask you have to hide all. Click apply. Now generally speaking when you hide all your, some of your layers are going to disappear. You have to go in and just set your layers. Well, the layers that you don't, the layers that you want to show, you would set to add mask. Now I'm going to show you. I have the hair masked. I'm going to add it to mask so you can see what the full hair looks like. So as you can see, it's squiggly all over the place. But because we masked it, you know we're no longer seeing it. Oh man, oh there we go. So mask. See, all the other layers are added. See, add to mask for eyes, add to mask for nose, beard, mouth, etc. Why is this important? It's important because we're going to do the same thing for shadow. We're going to keep the shadow masked. Now, I already have a shadow here, which when I drag it over the face, you'll see a shadow come on my face and masking is the most flexible way of doing shading because you can if you want cover half of the face you can animate this shading you know I can keyframe it so you can get like a you know let's say he, let's say he's opening the door and revealing light coming in from the door that shading is animated you know you can animate the points of the shade the, the shading you know it's very flexible very 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 flexible and as you see there we have a nice effect I actually like this effect but how did I create this all right well let's just move this over to the side I'm going to add another shadow. I'm going to put it on this side of the face. So, we create. Oh, let me go back to zero. And get this out of the way. So, create a new vector layer. Let's call it Shadow 2. Oh, let me just take caps lock off. Shadow. 
So what I do, you can find your own method of doing this. What I do is I start with a dark color. In fact, you know what? Because we used a dark color before, I am going to use a different color this time. Uh, let's go for yellow. We're going to go for like a sunlight effect, which is going to complement our shadow on the left. So I'm just going to add a few more points. Yeah, that should do it. And what I'm also going to do now, you can do the transparency in two ways. You want transparency because as is right here, as you're going to see, part of his face is blocked off by the light. I mean, you could try, could try and multiply, but it's probably not going to have the effect that you want. As you can see, it just looks like my face is stained. You could try other, you know, blending modes, but I'll keep it normal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry the opacity down to 50 so we can see through it. Let's see what that looks like. So there now it looks like a flashlight on my face. Anyway, let us just adjust this a little bit. Give sort of a rim lighting effect. That's cool, but just feels a little bit too bright. So I'm going to bring the opacity down to 30. Yeah, that's better from that's better to me. That looks more naturally like light. Uh, you know what? I think I might just change this to orange. If you wanted to, you could change the opacity here. Really doesn't matter. I'll just turn it down just a little bit from here. Um, I would advise you to just change it in one place so that you don't get confused if later on you want to change something. But I'm just showing you here just so you know. Alright, so I made the light a little bit more orange. So it's kind of maybe like a little bit more like sunset. I'm going to bring this shadow back into the fold. Just so it looks like light is shining from this this direction going from right to left casting a shadow on this side of the face and illuminating that side of the face um, you know what I want to bring this back to yellow and I'm just gonna go back up with the opacity so yeah I mean there you have it you can play around with it some more if you like uh, but yeah this is this is shading with masking so if you have any questions just leave them in the comment below and don't forget to like share and subscribe I will see you next time with a video on another shading technique which is not as flexible uh, but you can get some good results with it and you don't have to worry about always animating. The thing with the masks is that you can always attach them to bones which will help you animate them um, automatically. But sometimes you still have to do a lot of work animating. Uh, the other technique that I'm going to show you doesn't require as much work but it does have its limitations and its annoyances as well. So see you next time.